What's up and welcome back to the show. Happy Saturday. Big up to everybody that supports them everything. Uh, Jizzle's out on business. I'm going to bring up a, a very interesting topic that's been trending very hot lately. Uh, people are crying wolf. Somebody, some organization, they're calling FBI at alarming rate. They're, they're, they're telling them that there's an active shooter on school and it's trending everywhere nationwide. And FBI has just been inundated with a lot of calls for here and there, everywhere. And uh, let me just roll this clip so y'all can uh, see what I'm talking about. More than a dozen states reporting hoax calls to 911 about school shooters. The FBI is now getting involved. ABC's Phil Lipoff joins us with the story. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Ariel. And you're right. As you point out, the FBI is now involved. And that should tell anybody considering calling in a fake threat just how serious this is. So whether if it, if they treat it as it's real, real world, but whether it's fake or real, they still respond and they take it serious. And it's a federal offense if, if, if it's fake or real. Anytime when the feds get involved, it becomes federal. Calling it a threat, real or fake, is treated the same. It's a federal crime. This morning, a troubling and terrifying trend across the country. Fake calls to police about active shooters in schools. You know, our prime jewels are kids, right? I feel sorry for them. How the hell are they out here learning? I mean, bad enough, they're pumping us with all this BS about nothing we're going to use in, in, the, in the real world when, when they get out of school. I remember when I went to school, I didn't give shit about school, but when I got out, I still, I still a lot of that stuff that was teach, taught to me was embedded but I sift through all the stuff that uh, don't make sense. I don't care about it. But like geometry and all that other stuff or like um, the stuff that you don't need in there, you ain't gonna use it. They need to start learn, uh, teaching you how to file taxes, how to create a business, how to, uh, how to fill out uh, your W-2 forms, all of that shit, you know? Back to the video. How the hell can you do this to kids? Like, what goes through your head that you target children? It's called swatting because emergency responders, SWAT, and tactical teams rush to the schools, ready to engage, but there's no threat. Friday, the latest example, schools across Ohio in seven cities getting the hoax calls. Seven Students cities. huddled under desks, parents waiting outside in agony. According to the National Association of School Resource Office... Imagine being a kid and you get a, and you get a call for active shooter and everybody... They get on the intercom at the uh, principal's office and they tell, everybody get in or go hide. We got an active shooter and shit like that. I was like, what? It is some bullshit. I remember when we used to go to school, we was carrying guns. They didn't know that. It was in our backpacks, all that. So nowadays, imagine what they're carrying nowadays. Uzis, Dracos, all that shit. I'm gonna tell you something. Let an active shooter come on on, on these schools in LA now, <laughs> and they got the bangers. They they got gang bangers, active gang bangers in school. <laughs> in addition to Ohio, these 15 states have been targeted since September 13th. That emotional cost of that those 20 minutes when we thought there was really an active shooter, and so you have all that chaos and anxiety and fear on the. Bitch, you thought. How the hell are you gonna think? Part of, of students, teachers, parents, the community members. In Texas, Houston's police chief with a warning last week after this response to a fake call at a high. Man, they got ex Navy SEALs, ex military men. They coming in, guns blazing. They ready. They want action. They trigger happy. All that shit, that PTSD that they get from overseas, from their war. <laughs> They ready to hop some fools. I know I would be. 
coming from Fallujah, the streets of Fallujah and Kuchark in, in Afghanistan. Don't let me tell you what we were doing. Motherfuckers was hot and mo anything that was moving. High school there. It's no joke. Whoever made this call. This ain't no joke. Just be, understand. When I say all our agencies, including the FBI, we're going to trace it down and we're going to hold them accountable, okay? The Bureau telling ABC News the FBI takes swatting very seriously. Did I hear that? Serious, man. I think I'm serious. You must repunt that. Because it puts innocent people at risk. Going on to say the agency will investigate every threat. As you just heard the police chief there in Houston say, this is no joke, calling in that kind of threat. Hell no, it ain't no joke. And this ain't no reaction video. This like active trending now news. Like, you got, I understand you got the war in Ukraine and Russia. You got drama over here in the States. The open borders. It's just too much bullshit going on with a lot of shit that's going on, you know, in this world because of what's happening. But we as gatekeepers at home, it starts from home. We, we, we need to start taking back our kids and fuck kind of laws they talking about. Oh, you go to jail if you hit your kid. I'm going to hit them. I'm going to keep on hitting them. That motherfucker, that, that, that's discipline. Abusing, that's something else. I understand that. But all this shit started from when you motherfuckers want to pass that law talking about, oh, you can't hit your kids because you're going to go to jail and all that. You see how wild they are now out in society? But then y'all want to come and arrest the parents that, oh, you guys ain't doing a good job. No, motherfucker, that's y'all passing that law. So I'm like this. If I am hitting my kids and they think I'm abusing them, they got to get to the phone. They got to get to the phone straight up. I ain't playing. Shit. That's what happened when, you, see, in Somalia, in, in in our country, in Samoa, yeah, discipline and respect is everything. Is everything. Is God and our country, family, discipline, respect. You don't talk back when you're being talked to by a grown-up. That's a no-no. And that's why we don't even that's why we don't even want citizenship. The chiefs were right. They got together, form a congressional uh committee within the chiefs of, of the village and say, hell no. Cause as soon as we get we get citizenship, them motherfuckers gonna go over and take our land, run it the way they run to run it, billionaires over there, strangers in our own land, or we might even just get booted out. Then where we gonna go? Well, fuck your citizenship. You know what I mean? That stems from all that shit from home. It starts from home. Because it trickles down into society. These motherfuckers don't give a fuck. They running amok. They, they kept ca causing all kind of havoc. Chaos, all that shit. So we all, y'all gotta figure it out. Alright? So... Swatting, that's like the boy that cried wolf. That shit need to stop. It's about to get so hectic now. I think I think that right there is 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 engineered. Just look at everything that's going on right now in the world. Motherfuckers gotta stay prayed up, I'm telling you. Say no joke. Until the next time.